Welcome to Trigger King Event 1 Bracket 2 Sport Mod Competition. It's our 10th anniversary. It's exciting to get going with this season. Taking a look at qualifying results, El Toro Loco Zombie, Rotten Apple, and Taurus Jeremy Mark setting the tone with the number one qualifying position. Looking for a little bit of retribution after the results from bracket number one. If you joined us for bracket number one, you'll notice the track is still fairly similar to what it was then, and Good. we're just moving some of the uh, some of the turns and some of the orientation around. We are starting from the inside. Right there, you see it is still a difficult first corner going in the opposite direction now as King Kong struggles. Awesome Kong struggling in the far lane as well. We saw a battle of the Kongs in bracket one. A different result this time as Awesome Kong takes the win moving on. Grave Digger, Randy Hussey, a new driver on the tour. And Roadhog, Aaron James. Oh, Grave Digger misses the first corner going wide and missing the obstacle. Aaron Jane slowly working around the track in the far lane. A little out of shape, but not going to be of consequence as he'll take the win. Xbox Bigfoot, number 13 qualifier, well down from his number one qualifier position in bracket one. And Chris Lane, JB Scale Graphics. Chandler down a bit in the qualifying results, but still looking strong in the Xbox truck. Moving on, Orange Fury 2, Chris Blank, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Andy Salerno. Turtle, an awesome new body, but Salerno in big trouble as Blank, also running a new body with no decals yet, puts him Puts him down, wow. Uh, Salerno usually a real challenger, but not quite there. Sudden Impact, another newcomer, Fred Kors, and Chain Reaction, Iron Aaron James. Kors a little wide through the second turn, and Aaron James staying smooth the whole way around, takes the win. Troy Haas, awesome new Batman, and Big A's wrecking, Andy Salerno. An all new truck for Troy. Big A's, Andy's campaigned this truck last year. Had some good moments with it. See what he can do here. Right now, Haas out to the lead, but a wide turn gives the lead back to Salerno into the final corner. A little messy, but Big A's wrecking takes the victory. Barefoot Racer, the number 19 qualifier. Number 14, Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum. Barefoot with a big hole shot. Wide through the second corner, it tightens back up. It was a tight race, back and forth most of the race, but Barefoot Racer takes the win, moving to round number two. Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock with his first final round appearance in bracket number one, taking on Buffalo Trevor, the number 11 qualifier, Jeremy Mark, and Mark in big trouble, now Spurlock in trouble. Sloppy race, who can get to the finish line first? It'll be Buffalo Tremor. Awesome new body for Buffalo Tremor taking the win. He'll have to clean it up in round number two. Right back up on the line though, Taurus Jeremy Mark, the fast qualifier, and Awesome Kong Troy Haas number 17.
This track is very loose, very marbly. It's slick out there. So if you can master the surface, you'll be competitive today. And Taurus looking strong as the number one qualifier. 8-9 matchup, Roadhog and Orange Thunder 2. Roadhog, pretty consistent through the entire race, is going to take the win with the ACRC Havoc based Roadhog. Xbox Bigfoot and Rotten Apple 2. Chandler versus Welker. Maybe a little bit of a jump to Welker, but it's still really close moving through the second section. Welker stretching out of a bit of a lead. Chandler going to have to charge. Nothing doing. Rotten Apple 2 takes the win, flexing some muscle. Straight back up on the line, Bob Chandler once again, Bigfoot destination, and Orange Fury 2, Chris Blank. This is a five and 12 matchup. Blank with a good turn, good couple of turns through that first complex. Oh, but Chandler's closed it up. Oh, hammer down, and Bigfoot destination powers to the victory. Number seven, Equalizer, his first appearance of the day, and Chain Reaction, number 23. Equalizer in big trouble already. That truck is looking evil out there. Meanwhile, Aaron Jane's Chain Reaction looking very solid. Moving on to round number three. Rotten Apple, Doug Welker in the far lane. Big A's auto wrecking and Di Salerno in the near lane. Salerno with a big leap off the starting line. Welker closes it back up. They're close in the final corner. Welker with a little bit of a lead. Salerno all out of shape in Big A's and Rotten Apple taking it home. Toro Zombie, Chris Hackinson, and Barefoot Racer, Chris Parrish. Zombie, the number three qualifier. Barefoot, only the number 19. A little bit of a bobble on the final straightaway, but he holds him on edge. El Toro Loco Zombie, Chris Hackinson taking the win. Right back up on the on the line with his other bull truck, El Toro Loco Pink, Pinkalicious, Chris Hackinson, and Buffalo Trimmer, Jeremy Mark. Oh, Pinkalicious hung up on one of the jersey barriers. Trimmer getting it together after a rough first round, looking better in round number two. We move on to round number three, number one qualifier, Taurus, Jeremy Mark, and the number eight qualifier, Roadhog, Aaron James. Two Havoc based trucks from ACRC with AR60 axles underneath, so originally based on an SMT10, but they are a far cry from that at this point. Close, coming to the final straightaway, and Aaron Janes in Roadhog gives it away, getting squirrely on this loose surface in between the obstacles. Bigfoot destination, Bob C. Chandler, and Rotten Apple II, Doug Welker. These two faced off with different trucks in round one with Welker taking the measure, but so far, destination off to a lead. Chandler takes the win in destination, making a clean pass down the final straightaway and safely taking the win. Rotten Apple right back up on the line. This is Rotten Apple without the numeral. We just saw Rotten Apple 2 against Chain Reaction. A 
Jaynes out of shape on the outer straightaway. That's all it takes for Doug Walker and Rotten Apple to go into round number th four. The semifinals, he'll move to the semifinals. El Toro Loco Zombie and Buffalo Trimmer on the line right now. These two faced in round number two with Mark in the trimmer taking the measure over El Toro Pink, but this time El Toro Zombie takes the win moving into the semifinals. Our final four is set. Starting it off, it's the number one and number five qualifiers, Taurus and Bigfoot Destination. These are two of the top three in Sport Mod points from last year, so all signs point to this being a great matchup if you shake the Magic 8 ball. And yes, it was a good matchup by about a truck length. Bigfoot destination, Bob C. Chandler moves into the semifinals. Who will he face? Rotten Apple in the far lane, Doug Welker, or El Toro Zombie, Chris Hackinson. Atkinson with a huge hole shot. Atkinson with the lead, if he can hold on to it. Looking good and moving to the final round. El Toro Loco Zombie. So that sets it up. The Zombie Bull and Bigfoot Destination in the finals. This will be the second finals for Chandler in the Sport Mod bracket this season so far. Different trucks though, but they are off. El Toro not gonna give anything away. Hackinson looking strong. Oh, but here comes Chandler. Chandler closes the gap on the back stretch and drags it out to the finish line as Bigfoot takes the win in bracket two competition. Right here, it was close, but Toro in the lead, but a little out of shape, and Chandler flying straight down that back straightaway. That's all it took. Smooth sailing down the final straightaway, and Destination is our champion for bracket number two. That gives the overall win for the day through two brackets of competition to Bigfoot Destination and he'll have the points lead with positions one and two locked down by Chandler right now. We'll see if that's a sign of the season, but we've got a lot more action coming in the months to come. That's it for summer season debut event number one, bracket number two, in Sport Mod, we've got more action coming. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.